Morning, everybody. <sighs> Sorry for the few minutes delay. I'm a little bit slow today. A um, couple of unexpected things going on this morning. So things are a little bit crazy. Well, I was expecting the bulk of the fabric shipment today, and I think it's coming tomorrow instead. But I have a surprise shipment of 108 inch wide bags. And these are different than I've ever purchased before. So they're a little bit more money, but they're different than the normal ones that I bring in. And I think you're gonna like them. I'll post some pictures after the video. And are you ready? Um, I'm just double checking to make sure I'm on and everybody can hear me. So much going on this week. It is crazy busy. Really, really busy. I'm just amazed at how busy it is. All right. Are you ready? I'm ready. Got to get this going because I got a lot going on. All right, here is block 15, which is very, very easy. We're gonna do a quarter inch or a scant quarter of an inch. Either one with this block will work fine. Um, it still has big enough pieces that you could probably do a quarter of an inch um, and not have any issues. The next block, which is block 16, I'm definitely using a scant quarter of an inch because it's a lot of piecing. So all we have to do is sew these three together and sew these together and then put all three rows together. And I'm just gonna chain piece. I really do a lot of chain piecing, I can tell you that. So I can't chain piece because what well, I could, I'm gonna do this one here. In the next block, block 16, we're gonna do a lot of chain piecing. And we're just gonna iron them over. The seams on these, you really don't have to worry about too much because they're not going to um, connect. So there is no lining up of seams on this block specifically. So you don't have to worry about nesting your seams, which is nice. All I'm doing is just kind of, because we have some white on this one, so I am them to the dark side so that they are not gonna be a problem. So they can't be seen from, you know, as a shadow. I'm just gonna do this one. Mm. We've got two white blocks, so it really doesn't matter which side we iron it, the seam on. Oops. Put it on wrong. Now we're just going to so this one to this one, and then put the final piece on and block 15 is done. How fast is that? 
if you use a scant quarter of an inch throughout this process, it's not such a bad idea with this quilt and resizing up your blocks afterwards. But there are certain blocks that you definitely, without a doubt, have to use a scant quarter of an inch. Because if not, either way, you've got to be somewhat consistent and make sure that your blocks match. So this is it. We're just going to put this final piece on and then iron it and we can go on to block 16. I hope you're having fun with these. I really like this quilt. And it really is going to give you a lot of chances to perfect seam allowance and your stitching. All I have to do with this one is iron it. And I'm going to iron it from this side as far as setting the seam, starting this way, and then move it over that way. The seam is on the darker colors. They won't show through. So all we do is iron over the seam real quick to set it and get it ready. Pull it over, making sure the seam stays where it should. Supposed to and give it some best press. And I'm sure that this block is a little bit bigger because I used a scant quarter of an inch, but that's okay. I'd rather it be bigger than smaller. There you go. So that's block 15. Now I've already done a little bit of work on block 16 because there's a lot of sewing. Hmm. Here we go. Okay, so we've got a lot of little four patches. I've done one the one of the four patches. There's a four patch in each of the four corners, and you've got these two up here. So I've already done this portion and this one down here. I've left enough open uh, or unsewn that we can go through it and you understand what we're gonna be doing. I am literally gonna chain piece these two top, these two, these two, and these two, and just keep on going as much as I can before I iron them all and lay them back down and put them together. We had a lot of fun this weekend with the um, Kimberbell Vintage Flora, and I made a bunch of cute little bags and big bags. Now I just have to get uh, to Home Depot and get some brushed gold chain for the handles, which I think is gonna be beautiful. I still can't believe how much stuff we've coming in this week. It is crazy. Yesterday we received um, the Northcott order early. So we have, um, oh my God, what is the name of that line? It's one of the Stonehenge lines with the Eagles, but it's not um, Spirit of the Skies. That's what it's called. It's not, um, sometimes you get, you know, red, white, and blue, or eagle, whatever, and it's too, um, I don't know, what's the word I'm looking for? It's definitely valor, red, white, and blue. This line, Spirit of the Sky, you know, you've got the eagle, but it's not predominantly in your face 
um, valor quilts, but they could definitely be done as valor quilts. So now all I'm gonna do is iron all my pieces. It's really pretty. I mean, nobody does the eagles and stuff like that, like uh, Stonehenge, uh, North Cotton Stonehenge does. But they came in early. One of them is really, really pretty. It's a tone-on-tone -tone eagle in tan Stonehenge, which is gorgeous. I like that um, it's not in your face, Quilts of Valor. After a while, it gets a little, little much, I think, but that's just my opinion. What new and exciting things are you guys work, working on? Oh, that's what I want to do too. I want to post a um, bunch of customers that brought in lately some quilts and things that they've made, which I get super excited about because too often I see the pattern. I help pick out the fabric, but then I never see the completed project. So I'm super excited about that one. I'll post those in a little bit after this, when I post the 108 wide backs that I have coming in supposedly today. Let's see. We're salty. What else? Hmm? Tomorrow, we have the next class for our hybrid take a stand bag class. So I'm kind of excited about that. Stitching bits today, and it's been starting to get a little bit busier. People I think are starting to feel a little bit more comfortable coming out. Um, so that's fun. Make sure you guys, if you do plan on coming in, um, make a reservation because I'm only allowing a certain amount of people in at a time. So now, we're gonna sew these two together. And these two fabrics are the same in my blocks. So all I did was to make sure that I ironed my seam towards that fabric. Same thing like here, I iron the seams towards these two fabrics. And what that does is it makes it easier to nest. You don't have to worry about it. They are gonna nest together. And probably don't need a pin, but I'm gonna use a pin anyway. And all I'm doing, again, you've heard me do say this a hundred times, but I'm going to start on this side. So when I pin, I'm pinning on an angle this way. And that will make sure that I can stop with my needle down in the seam before I have to take the pin out. Like I said, I really hope you guys are enjoying this. It's, it could become a little monotonous, but that's the nice thing about these blocks because there's so many blocks in this quilt that you are going to see new things, new options. And if I run into any problems with a block, which I haven't, just little tips and tricks I can show you, to make it easier for you. All right, and then we're gonna cut these and iron these. It's really fun having all, I mean, not fun, but it makes life easier that all of these were cut in advance and packaged in my little um, 
in my little, I don't know what you call these, slider inserts into a binder, but it's nice because then each week I just got to grab one of these out. Because I cut, we cut two blocks for each block because I made two quilts. One where I made the whole quilt first to make sure that I had all the particulars for you guys on every block. And then another one that I could use for the videos. There you go. So now we just have to sew these together, sew these three together, sew these two together, and then put it all together. And there we go. I'm gonna nest the seams. Once you learn that lesson, as far as nesting your seams and lining them up, it's probably one of the hardest lessons to learn, but once you learn it, and it's not super hard, it just takes practice. Once you learn it, it makes everything so much easier. I never sew over my pins. I know years ago we were taught to sew over pins, but I never sew over my pins ever. I've seen too many issues with people possibly getting hurt or breaking your machine. I mean, nobody wants their machine down. I'm gonna sew the two long pieces together, get those ready. We're almost done with this. Just a little bit more ironing and we will be good. It's going to be like Christmas all week. Christmas and your birthday all wrapped up into one this week. There's so many goodies coming in. It's fun, but oh my goodness, is it a lot of work. It's just a ton of fabric to unwrap and pin and package and price kind of crazy. All right, we're almost in the home stretch. Oh, I was gonna look because one little block like this put the wrong way is going to make a big difference when you're putting it together row by row. So be careful. Make sure you keep watching um, the diagram. I have a tendency to lay everything out, double check it, and as I sew stuff, put it right back where it belongs. Consistency is going to really help you with this quilt. Being consistent with your seam allowance, consistently putting them together in the right way. I try not to have blocks just laying around 
Because my luck, I know they're going to get lost. Swim together. Have an opportunity to pick up one of these red glide mats if you have an extension table. It, they are worth their weight in gold. Good morning, Fran. How are you? Is what's the weather like up in New England? are almost done. There we go. We got one more seam to sew and the block is done. Oh wow, 60s. For March, that's like unheard of. Morning, Linda. If you decide to come in and sew, Linda, for Stitching Bitch or any of the classes, you definitely have to make an appointment because I'm only allowing so many people in an, in the classroom sitting and sewing. I have six, five to six spots available, depending on if I have a video. That's all that that means. Fran, you can order for me. I'll send you a, a picture and you can decide which one you want because they come in a couple different sizes depending on the size of your table, your extension table. I hope that answered both of your questions. Now, like I said, I've used a scant quarter of an inch, and I know that this block is going to be bigger than I need. And it's not, it's going to be a little wonky here and there, but I'm not worried because when I trim it up to the right size, all these edges will be perfectly fine. There you go. So there's block 16, here's block 15. Those are our blocks for the week. Does anybody have any questions? Any other questions? All right, Linda, I hope to see you too. Anybody else? All right, I'm gonna get going and I'm gonna post the pictures for the new 108 inch wide fabrics that we have coming in. Um, and I'm going to post the pictures of the wonderful quilts that people have been bringing in. And I'm going to post pictures of the bags that we did in the Kimberbell Vintage Flora class that are really cute. Other than that, I'll keep you guys posted because we've got a lot of stuff coming in. So you might get real tired of this little smile this week because I'm going to be on a lot showing you all kinds of new goodies. All right, everybody, have a great day. I will see you later. You know where I am if you need me. Bye.